Welcome in everybody, 5280sportsnetwork.com. Jake Marsing, Ryan Green ahead of preseason game number four, the final preseason game for the Denver Broncos, uh, playing the Arizona Cardinals in Arizona. Ryan, Paxton Lynch will start the entirety of this game. He will play the entirety of this game. Uh, what are you looking for out of the rookie who we heard from this week? You know, uh, when he was talking to the media, he mentioned that the past three games he's had to warm up and then yeah. sit for a while and then he's had to kind of warm up again and get into it so when he was talking about how he's going to warm up and then just play I'm excited to just see him this is usually the preseason game where it's like why would I watch no one's playing but you know this could be the rookie that is the quarterback of this team for yeah. the future and he's gonna be playing what sounds like the whole game so I really want to see how much of the playbook they're gonna open up to him or if they're just gonna you know how much he has learned is really going to come across in this game because that's a lot of plays he's going to have to run. I want to see how he handles the pressure of a full game, mm -hmm. how he plays on script, how he handles his drops. We've seen Paxton Lynch do incredible things yeah. when he goes off script, mm -hmm. when he scrambles, when he throws those long out routes or those fades or those crazy plays that we've seen him make. I want to see him take three, five, seven step drops, hit quick like inside slants, like on schedule kind of plays that we haven't seen him hit as consistently as we probably like. Right, absolutely. You mentioned that Paxton Lynch will play this entire game. One player who will not be a part of this game for the first time in the last seven years, Britton Colquitt yeah. will not be a part of this Broncos game. Cut on uh, Tuesday, Colquitt is gone. Riley Dixon will handle the punting responsibilities for this game. I'm looking forward to seeing Riley Dixon get all the reps once again. Right. This kid now out of Syracuse, seventh round draft pick, has a lot on his plate. What, I know we don't necessarily evaluate punters, but I think seeing confidence out of him and his play is gonna be important for a lot of fans. Right, yeah, if he shanks a few punts, <laughs> then everyone's gonna be a little nervous. You know, a lot of people remember, Colquitt -Col was kind of inconsistent to start out the year last year, but in the playoffs, he was money. Pinning people back, yeah. you know, with Kayvon and Cody on the, on the, as gunners. So, yeah, he, he quietly, Riley Dixon quietly has a big shoe to fill, and um, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see like you said, what, what that means if he's going to be, you know, when he's when he's trying to do the precision punts from when he, when they're near the 50 into the red zone, it'll be just interesting to see how he handles the pressure of being the guy. Once again, guys who who need to have a good game. Jordan Taylor, he spoke to the media this week yep. as well. Khalif Raymond, I'm looking for in the return game. Some other places. Paxton Lynch, though, obviously the big story of this fourth and final preseason game. We will be out here after the game. Follow us on Twitter, at 5280 Sports Network, at Jake D. Marsing. What's your Twitter handle? Right? At rgreen5280. That's right, rgreen5280. Uh, for Ryan Green, I'm Jake Marsing on 5280 Sports Network.